iron it onto the satin fabric. So that's the end of the ironing. everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally and in today's video I've got a couple of textile techniques that I want to share with you. The first one being transfer paints and I want to combine the transfer painting with some embroidery. So we're going to be using free motion embroidery and we're going to be doing that on water soluble fabric. We're going to base it on the theme natural forms and follow on from the project that I've been doing recently. So shall we get into it? Do it. What I'm going to do now is I've got my photograph that I've got of natural forms and I'm going to paint this onto my A4 paper and then I'll be transferring it onto hello, some satin fabric. Just focusing in down here, so some of the moss on the side of the tree. So I'm going to leave this to dry now, and once it's dry, I'm going to be able to iron it onto the satin fabric. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I've got my transfer paints on paper and I'm gonna put the design onto the satin, the shiny side up. And then I've got baking parchment underneath. I'll put another piece on top and then I'm just gonna iron over the top of that. So that's the end of the ironing. Just pulling off the transfer paper and that's the print there. Still, let's turn it that way, can you see that? Really strong, vibrant print, ready for us to work on. So what I'm going to do now is, just looking at my photograph, I'm just going to draw on a pattern on my water-soluble fabric. So I've just doubled it over and I'm just going to go straight over the top with a very simple design. So now that I've got my design on here, I'm just putting together a couple of thread colours that I think will go well with my transfer print and just looking at my photograph as a reference. Mm, I'm thinking kind of light green bit of dark green and quite a few yellows. Thread colours that I'm going to use. I might sort of mix it up and put a few different colours on the bobbin and on the top thread. And this is the design I'm going to follow. So let's go. So I've just got it on a straight stitch. I've dropped the feet and I'm have it a long length. Off we go. So this is all I want for now and next what we need to do is junk it in some water, leave it to dry and then I can start adding bits and bobs, certain pieces of this into my piece. So I'm just going to add some water onto this. Whoa! And I've actually just stuck it onto the window to let it dry. Oh, Layla. You having a little nap? As usual. Hi. Whoa. 
And what I also want to do is just cut into this piece a little bit and get some more kind of rugged edges. I'm just going to cut it to begin with and then I'll probably try and maybe, I might even burn some of the edges, we'll see. Next what I want to do is I want to dig in to the fabric a little bit and create some holes so that I can put some of the dissolvable fabric that I've just made over the top of some of these areas. So I'm going to put some, you see like that, some holes through. So I'm going to put a couple of those through, just looking at my image on the laptop. And I'm going to have one over here. sunny size. Oh, I love that. What I also want to do, let me just shut the door because the washing machine's on. Noisy. Okay, back. So I've got another piece of water soluble fabric and I just want to show you a slightly different technique. So with the other water soluble fabric, I just use the threads, whereas with this one, I'm going to use this little bag that I've got here of scraps of fabrics and I'm going to have a little scramble in here of some little pieces that I can just throw into the fabric. So I'm going to just snip a couple of those in. And hopefully some colours might be a bit more appropriate with a couple of these little scissors. Perhaps These are just little bits of fabrics left over from projects, like I try and save fabrics. So I've got a little bit of netting here, I've got some old bits of dyed fabrics from recent projects, so I can do some little snips of those. And I want to create a kind of lacy effect. So I don't want too many bits of fabrics in there. Like so. That would be quite nice, just the frayed edge. Little bits of threads like that, chuck them in. Here, a little bit of that that I've just cut out. And any bits of threads. I think that's possibly enough. We're just going to fold the fabric over, the water soluble fabric, and then pop your smaller hoop in at the Top like that. Actually, just spread it about a bit more. At the moment, it looks like this to begin with. And now I'm just going to pop it in here and drop your free motion foot, and off we go. Just straight stitch. That's what it looks like from just sewing with the fabric and then you just put water over the top once again. Leave it flat and I've literally just bunged it on the window to dry because it's so gloopy from the water soluble fabric that it just sticks so I just want it to dry flat along with the other one. What I'm going to do here is just referring to the photograph that I took with the tree trunk. I'm going to be cutting up this fabric and I want to kind of join it on 
or maybe put it behind some of these gaps here and then I'm going to kind of get it to flow amongst the colours. It's going to be a case of me just playing around. I'll do the same with this one too but right now I'm sort of thinking that would look good on that shape there. So I'm going to be cutting this up Pinning it just to the sides of this shape. Okay, so that's how it looks right now. I've obviously cut up some of the free motion embroidery and pinned it onto some of the areas that I cut out. That one I'm a little bit worried about because I don't think it's going to be too big but hopefully when I combine it with other stitches it will stay. And what I'm hoping is I can just get this to flow by adding more stitch onto some of the transfer paints as well. And that one's fitted nicely into that shape. There, so I've just got to sew that on. So what I've decided to do next is I want to add to this piece and I've put another piece of water soluble fabric in a larger hoop this time and I'm going to add some stitching along the side of the piece or maybe at the bottom but I just want to increase the weight down at the bottom a little bit more. Bigger piece to work on. Just using slightly different colour, more of a turquoisey colour to match up onto the earlier green that I did and I'm just overlapping it so there's a continuous flow and blending of colour. So you just got to make sure with the water soluble fabric when you're stitching that there is a continuous line so that it doesn't break up when you add water to it. And also, if you rip any of the water soluble fabric, it's okay to just go over the top with the stitch and it'll just attach it all again. If you have a bit of a disaster with the water soluble fabric in terms of it really rips, then it's okay to get another layer of it and just overlay it on the top and just thicken it up a little bit. Quite often it's just because the material is quite thin. As you can see, that's why I'm using two layers. I'm going to leave it at that. That's what it looks like. And now I'm just going to add water to it. And I've just put it back on the window. So that's it finished. I have sort of burnt the edges outside a little bit and I've added this extra piece of free motion embroidery over the top there just to layer it up a little bit give it a bit of dimension and I'm really happy with how I cut out some of these areas here. You can really see them there on the back where I cut those out. Thank you so much for watching my video today and if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed this video and also I shall be bringing you the next video next Monday. 
So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye bye. Hello, beautiful.